All right, guys, I just made it down here to CJ's neck of the woods. Right there, we got Nate. Nate up in here, but let's get in here and see what G, uh, CJ is trying to get for the JBJ. Let's go check that out. Are you listening? Damn. So this is where CJ from CJ's Aquariums come and gets all his eye candy. Now we are working with some low light situations. I like the lighting up in here. All ran by Ecotech, Kessels, some metal halides, some reef rights. Uh, all kinds of stuff. Got butterflies, scopus tangs. Look like mimic tang. We got Nate over there. There go the wife. Sorry for the lights, guys. Got a trigger right here. He's playing peekaboo with me right now. We got some invert tanks here. Look. Cleaner. Oh my God, look at this. Look at this plate right here. Holy smokes. This had to come out of a 500 plus aquarium. Holy smokes. It's been growing there for years. It's been growing here for a year? At least. It's a Hollywood stunner, baby. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa. Hollywood stunner, man. How long have you had that Hollywood stunner going? Five years. I've cut it down to dinner plate size like three or four times. Wow. This was just a frag of it. And there's a frag of it. Was a frag of it, should I say? <laughs> oh, I like this long plate coral hair, long tentacle. That is really nice. Got some nims and stuff in here. got some corals here so you guys can see another plate that's a Ghani right there that's a nice Ghani got all kinds of stuff main brains Acans Zoas CJ has a little bit of a selection here I see he's got a little bit Got it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dragon's Breath. We got up here and we got CJ's fine specimen right there. Some green star polyps. We know he's going to be coming back with that. That's for sure. Let me see. Yep. He's a nice one. Yeah, he's nice. I do need this guy. This guy will be awesome in my aquarium. What do you think? Yeah. You think, yeah? He's huge. He'll go good in the 550. Looks good. Oh, yeah. Big 
No, he's, 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 and they might be at about the same size. Or he might be bigger. It's always hard to say when, you, when they're in a small tank like that. Yeah. When you put them in a big tank, they don't look nearly as big. Yeah, he's beautiful. We might have to snatch him up tomorrow. Here's my guys. This is what I had when I first started off in the aquarium. Look at him. Got a nice red Valentine lionfish. Oh yeah. We go over here and check out. We got some leathers up in here. This must be the leather tank. Do got some acros up in here as well. Oh yeah. So yeah, CJ, I'm in the neck of your woods. I got, I'm here scoping out everything about you, CJ. Yeah, now we'll come here tomorrow. We won't let them know about this detail. Oh, I like that orange fungia plate. I like that. Wouldn't mind getting another one of those. We got a scoli, a red scoli over there. I can't, I'm trying to lock in on it. Let's see. No, it's just too much uh, reflection and stuff. That's some nice, uh, got some sumps here and uh, filter socks and bulbs and everything. I don't know. I think yeah, it looks like the, it, they're um, maybe shutting down though. Looks like uh, maybe because of the um, aquarium hobby industry um, is really wreaking havoc on some of these stores, you know, with the ban of corals and stuff like that. I don't know. I need to ask more questions about that because it really does seem like they still got a lot of stock here, but at the same time, uh, from prior videos of what CJ has shown, um, it's usually way more packed. So I, I, I don't know what that means for uh, this particular store, but like I said, I do believe that it's, uh, it might be on the verge of shutting down just because of the economy of uh, all the bands of all the places that you can get. Obviously, Indonesia is like 90% of where everybody gets their corals from. And with the band and, you know, only hobbyists propagating and stuff like that, it kind of makes it uh, makes it hard on the retail stores. I hate to see, you know, good shops that look like this was an awesome shop to really go, you know, be shut down. But like I said, I, I think that's what it's about. Let me let me ask the owner. Time. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. I'm Rico from Rico's Aquariums. Paul. Good friends with uh, CJ. Oh yeah, yeah. So, uh, so um, I guess is it okay to ask some questions? Sure. So, <clears throat> how's how's uh, the ban affected you? As oh, a bad. Really bad. Yeah. Yeah, prices are going up, and just you can't get as much stuff, and then. Especially people that have been in the hobby for years, man. When prices go up, they think they just think that we're raising them, you know. Right. You know, when a yellow tang used to be thirty bucks and now they're seventy-five bucks, you know, they just think, oh, you know, it's pistol, you know. It's, especially people that are not well informed on it. Yeah. You know, so um, it's been a struggle, you know. Especially, you know, probably one of the biggest things you feel is. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um are you able to keep the store or is it to the point where you're going to have to shut down just due to the ban of corals and um, stuff like that? It's not going well. I mean, spring, spring's like the hardest time in a pet yeah. store anyway. Yeah. Um, but 
there was a little bit of that and a little bit of some other things that, yeah, I don't know if I'll make it through the summer. You don't? Yeah, you know, people don't realize as hobbyists how how some of these things really affect you guys, mm -hmm. you know, to keep the electric on and pay yeah. for employees and all this other stuff. Yeah. Um, it just, it's yeah, just I mean, really I've sad. I've been in the business 23 years, and it's like, never seen it like this. I, in 24 years I've been a hobbyist, I've never seen it come to this. Yeah. Uh, with that being said, though, I've always had something in the back of my mind that I couldn't see them continue to pull corals out of out of you know their natural environment right. um for forever right. you know that's that yeah, was a, when mariculture came along mariculture was and like, mariculture you're yeah. right i mean that's a that was i thought it was gonna you know save everything you know because they could pull some and you know sell it and grow out some you know i mean it's it's a great idea you know and even all those places in Bali and stuff, those mariculture places are just overgrown now. And there's a lot of guys are still trying to keep them up, but they can't export anything out. Exactly. Uh, have you heard of anything uh, of them maybe potentially open back up for a short period of time or? Mm -hmm. I haven't either. I haven't either. No, I think it's, you know, there's gonna be, I think we're at a point now where there's just gonna be corals you're never gonna see again. I mean, you know, obviously stuff that, you know, can aquaculture, but there's a lot of it, but there, there's a lot you're just not going to be able to, you know. Exactly. Scullies, you know, that just, you know, somebody was like asking me the other day how to, you know, frag scullies. <laughs> it's like... It, it, it can be done, but it's very, it's, is it really worth it, uh, right. taking the chance? Um, there's a, a, there's a, a guy that I've met uh, that did a really good talk in, um, in uh, reef stock. Mm -hmm. uh, from Australia and he's shown the actual work of him actually propagating uh, but there was a lot to it and it was it was you yeah. know it's just not worth taking the chance to do and kill right. it off a, a, a healthy coral right in my opinion yeah so yeah I think that you know I mean I, I think that the hobby will limp on you know it'll never be the same um, you know, it, 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 everything's going to cost more. You're not going to be able to get colonies, you know, I mean, just... What do you think it's going to lead for, like, new people that wants to get into the hobby and stuff like that? What do you, what do you think? Is it going to be possible for these people to get in, or...? I think so. I mean, it's just going to be very limited and... Very uh, expensive. Yeah. I mean, it's already an expensive hobby. It, yeah. Yeah, so. yeah, it just really went up about 10 notches. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think there's a lot of people that, you know think that maybe it's gonna I don't personally I think if it's been this long I mean Fiji's been shut down for over two years yeah so you know they're not gonna open that back up Indonesia I mean why would they like I don't think it's gonna happen you know and I think you know Australia is probably gonna get a lot more I, I'm, I'm, yeah I'm actually waiting for them to go ahead and drop the hammer on that actually yeah i think they're gonna they're gonna actually just shut down completely too yeah. if you ask me i, I mean, mean it's it's the it's the world we live in man you know i mean it's it is what it is you I mean you're not it's, i don't know you know I'd, i've never been over there to see what you know obviously where they pull these yeah me neither all that but you know, I knew there was a, a long time ago, it was just getting, you know, some of these islands to quit using dynamite and start using nets, you know, that was the big struggle. Right. You know, now it's just like, you know, you ain't getting up, you know. And it's a surprise is that I think is gonna, you know, and then it's gonna slow down the warehouses, the warehouses are gonna order less from the islands, and you know, it, it's just, it's just gonna kinda go. So do you, I, I, I pretty much for saying, I, I don't know if any store can sustain any, anything if, you know, with the whole, the whole shutdown of import. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, especially I mean, somebody like me, it's all water only. I mean, obviously full line pet stores are going to be able to hang on. I mean, you know, fresh water is kind of bread and butter, but. You think the, the, the full online pet stores will be able to hold on? I mean, they're not getting anything in. No. You know, not, I mean, I don't, I don't see anybody at the end of the day, as far as stores, it's just gonna be hobbyists trading with other hobbyists at yeah. this point. Yeah. And yeah. you might see like some big aquaculture places pop up, you know I mean? Or well, they got a small- Well, I can, I can see like um, places like um, Worldwide Corals, right. um, uh, maybe eye, um, eye-catching corals. Right. 
And then the longer it goes, the more they're going to be able to name their price. And and that's true. That's true. Uh, top shelf is another one. They're pretty 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 big yeah. as well. But yeah, I mean they have a whole stock already that they just been. You know, it seems like they're just holding on and growing and propagating. Right. At this point, you're crazy to get rid of anything big. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have a lot myself, and I don't plan on. There's people already asking. I'm like, no, I'm yeah. not. I'm a hobbyist. I'm not. I'm not in it for the money. Right. I'm a grower. I love to grow. I love watching. I, I grow big colonies. I don't right. just get this little thing here and then make money off of it right. and frag it all up. Yeah. So. Well, I, I'll be honest, man. It's my first time. I, I watch, you know, CJ got me into, yeah. you know, doing YouTube because of my experience and years in the hobby. And uh, yeah. I watch him come in here on live streams and, you know, right. go to shop. And it's just kind of sad to, you know, yeah. you're going to have to. Yeah. The saltwater only shops, you know, are definitely, I, I mean, hurting around. I mean, I know it for a fact. I mean, I've owned this place for five years and the first couple of years were banging, you know. Yeah. You, you wouldn't try to convert or you're just gonna over the fresh and just let it go? Yeah. yeah well. It's just, you know, and anymore, man, you know, just trying to, again, just paying the bills, man. It's a, it's a tough thing. Yeah. That's one thing you don't want turned off in a place like this is your LG&E. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Well, I'm gonna take a look, man. I appreciate you giving no, no me problem. time to talk no and, problem. uh, just hear your perspective on things, yeah. uh, you know, so other people can realize that this is real. This is what's happening yeah. in the hobby right now. So everybody that, you know, wants to go to their favorite LFS, well, that favorite LFS probably ain't going to be there anymore. Right. So that's just the reality, yeah. that, you know, of it. Yeah. Oh, there's some good, nice purple coralline algae. Maybe uh, CJ should break a piece off of that, get a little piece to help him out in his uh, JVJ 65. So what do you think about that, Nate? What do you think's gonna happen? You might need something to see it. Huh? I, I don't know. The whole thing kind of reminds me of uh, of uh, Machine Gun Kelly challenging Eminem. Eminem? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I thought. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of that. Yeah. The Machine Gun Kelly trying to challenge Eminem. But it, he came at me first. See, well, I mean, you know, we'll see. <laughs> We're we gonna see what he working with tomorrow. We, that tomorrow gonna tell the truth. What are you trying to sugarcoat what we're seeing? I'm trying to throw that sauce on them chicken wings. Right. Them chicken legs. Right. Them chicken feet. Them chicken, chicken feet. feet.